So this is a video that Mike and I shot with our drone one of the first times that we were in West Memphis. And the goal here was to show you what the terrain looks like and what it would have looked like if the Bojangles man were in fact the murderer and took the path of the bayou to get to the Bojangles restaurant. So what you see right here in front of you is the pipe bridge that's crossing the bayou. And just to the right of that, maybe 25 feet in and then maybe 25 feet back towards us right now where this X is, that is where the bodies were discovered. Then to the left there, you see there's a house right near the pipe bridge. And then just past them, the concrete slabs that you see there, that is where the Mayfair apartments were located. The hotel that you see there on your right did not exist at the time. There was actually a truck stop over there in that area. So let's start moving forward. All right, so you see the terrain here. It's a very steep drop off into the bayou. It's a very weedy, pretty nasty bank. It's not like it's a gradual slope. And the water is going to be about a chest to maybe shoulder height back then. Here's a photo of me and uh, Shane Yoder, our sound guy, in the water a couple months ago when we were doing an experiment. And you can see the water's really low then. You can see the water marks on the bank. It was much higher before that, and it was definitely higher than that at the time of the murders. And our feet are sunk probably a foot and a half into the mud underneath us. So the water was any higher, it would be much up to our shoulders or so. So that's about the depth of the water if the Bojangles man was walking in the water. Now, getting back to our trip, we're coming up on the bridge, which is 7th Street. And if the goal here is concealment, th there's no way to walk across the street. They're going to have to walk under the bridge, which means he will definitely be in the water. Now, you can get a good view here of what the banks look like. A lot of weeds. Uh, and you see here we had to change positions to get the second half of the shot. But it's a nasty, nasty terrain. It just drops straight down into the bank. There's, we know for a fact, poison ivy, poison sumac. There's chiggers all over the place. It's a pretty nasty place. And remember, it's going to be dark. If Bojangles Man is the guy we're talking about, it was dark. That's me and Mike there on the left, standing there running the drone. So now we're coming up on Barton Street, and we're going to hang a right here. Still following the bayou. And you see there's railroad tracks there. And look to the left of the railroad tracks right there. You see that's another creek. And that one's another really narrow but deep creek that you couldn't jump across. And that's Bojangles up there to the left. Now we're going to come up, get to about the Bojangles location, and we'll make a left turn here. So if he crawled out of the bayou, he'd go through these woods, cross those railroad tracks. Then where these woods are that you're seeing at the bottom of the screen, that's another creek. Come out of the creek and then walk right there into the Bojangles. So that's what the route would have looked like if the Bojangles manned is the one who killed the forgotten West Memphis Three.